Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Lark here again, and today we're going to talk about uh, Dash Mining and the new Dash Miners that are hitting the market. So before we get into that, I'd just like to thank everyone who's been uh, liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel. really helps out. Your support's really appreciated, guys. So what are we going to look at today? Bitmain and InnoSilicon have both brought out new dash miners, new dash mining ASICs that are basically going to blow the whole mining uh, of dash apart. So um, I did a video the other day saying that uh, cloud mining for dash is dead. So if you got a, a cloud mining contract, it's, you know, it's not going to be worth very much in a year. And, you know, hopefully you get, you know, a decent portion of your money back on that. Maybe, you know, the price of dash will skyrocket and then you'll get a, a bit more back and maybe you'll even break even or get a tiny amount of profit, but they're not going to be worth a lot in the future because these machines that are coming out are gigantic, amazing, out of control. So I wanted to actually look at the two different machines today. I'm going to start with the Bitmain. Uh, this is their Antminer D3. So as you can see, the price, 2700 US dollars. Pretty big price tag on this, but the return on it is also pretty awesome. So you got to consider that $2,700, you also have to add in a power supply. So that's going to be another 100 bucks, And you also have to factor in for shipping. That's going to be another 100 bucks. So it's really about $2,900. And look, depending on what country you live in, you might end up having to pay uh, customs duties when this arrives too. And that can range greatly from, you know, 5 or 10% to 30, 40%. I'm lucky here in New Zealand, we have a free trade agreement with China. So uh, you don't have to pay any taxes on it when it uh, comes in at the port but most countries you are going to have to pay a fairly sizable customs duty on that so do keep that factored into your uh, your idea here as well now let's have a look at it 15 giga hash holy god that is crazy that is crazy not only does that sync cloud mining but that also basically makes all the other miners, the Baikal miners, and all these things, uh, basically not really worth very much. You know, Baikal miner just came out with a two, you know, a two giga hash uh, miner for $8,000. You know, I'm sure some poor bastards ended up buying those, and wow, that sucks for those guys, but, um, you know, this one's only 2700 bucks, well, you know, 29 plus some change with the, uh, the customs duties and stuff, depending where you are again. But um, power consumption, 1200 so I thought, hey, let's look at the, let's look at the facts here. So I did um, went over to coinwars.com. We did a little bit of um, you know calculation here. So that's a uh, fifteen thousand mega hash, right? Fifteen thousand mega hash, twelve hundred watts uh, here in New Zealand. Uh, it's about twenty five U.S. cents um, for a uh, kilowatt of power. So keep that in mind. Uh, I haven't put in the hardware costs or anything here. I thought we just look at the, the brute sort of numbers uh, about how many dash you'd actually get. Now this uh, mining difficulty here, that's uh, sort of an average of what it's been at the past few days. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes, but uh, yeah, that's what the difficulty is at for that. So having a look down here, you are going to get 28 Bitcoin a year out of this thing, $78,000. That is uh, out of control. The power cost is almost uh, three grand a year, but that's pretty irrelevant, I suppose, when you're making seventy-eight thousand dollars a year, right? So you're looking at four hundred plus dash coins in a year. This is uh, an out of control machine, absolutely, especially for the price tag of uh, you know twenty-nine hundred bucks all up. Now, let's look at Inno Silicon. They've just brought one out, uh, going up to thirty-eight giga hash in overclock mode now. Uh, Inno Silicon decided to be a little too damn greedy, I think. They uh, they had this come out the other day, and they had a minimum order of three units for 50,000 US dollars. 50,000 US dollars, which is insane, right? Uh, I assume they weren't selling very many, and I feel bad for the people, if anybody, who bought them at $50,000 for three. It's about, you know, $17,000 a unit because they've dropped the price to $10,000 a unit, which is uh, a lot more reasonable. And, you know, when investing in this kind of technology, you have to realize things can change overnight, right? And this is, uh, this is uh, you know, uh, with Bitmain, it's a pre-order, right? In fact, I'm not even available to pre-order yet on Bitmain. The 
pre-order will probably come in here, you know, in a few weeks or a month, but they're definitely advertising it. So expect that that pre-order potential to happen soon. And that's shipping out in the end of September. So if you got, you know, your cash ready, get it ready because it's coming. Right now. Um, so yeah, you can pre-order the A5 here from InnoSilicon. Uh, again, that you know will come a bit later. But let's look at the actual numbers here. And again, you know, this is a 38 giga hash potentially in overclock mode. I don't know if you really want to run it in overclock mode. You know, you're going to wear it out pretty soon. You might be better off to run it, you know, at a little bit of a lower giga hash there at uh, 30.2. But I thought, hey, let's hit the dash mining calculator here. And, um, you know, we're just going to put it in basically at the 38,000 uh, mega hash mark, which is, you know, the advertised overclocking of it. And uh, it was 12, was it 1250? Oh, no, oh, yeah, 1250 in, over, in overclock mode, yeah, so that's uh, 1250 uh, watts, and again, you know, 25 cents uh, here in New Zealand for power. So, you know, this one is going to make you uh, 200,000 US a year. Again, this is all based on numbers that are available today, right, based on exchange rates, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you're looking a little over 1,000 Dash coins uh, a year, which is um, immense unbelievable you know your uh, return on investment for this thing is you know coming basically uh you know after three weeks you get a return on investment for this one uh return on investment over here for the bitmain is about uh two weeks approximately you know so the question becomes which machine's better personally I think the bitmain's better i know it's about half the power but it's also a third of the price a third of the price, that's huge difference, huge difference, especially if you're trying to, you know, if you're if you're somebody like me who doesn't have, you know, uh, 10 grand sitting there to, uh, you know, buy an InnoSilicon machine. Besides, Bitmain's an industry leader. They've been an industry leader for a long time. I'm not saying anything about InnoSilicon. They make nice products too. But, you know, Bitmain's super reliable and, you know, a really good company to be working with. You know, so if you do want to sort of, you know, think you can get that, 2900 bucks ready you know definitely have it there and ready and you know be either ready to do that us dollar transfer to their bank account have the bitcoin ready or uh, i think they also accept litecoin for the payment for this yeah they accept litecoin your 58 litecoin so if you got one of their l3 miners you can get 58 litecoin in a few days and bada bing bada boom buy yourself a dash miner look between the two of them the bitmain is way the better deal you'd be farther ahead getting two of these uh, than getting one of the InnoSilicon know, miners, despite the fact that it makes a ridiculous amount of, uh, you know, Dash coins. Now, before you run off and invest in this new technology, which, you know, if, if you got the money, do it, because this is definitely the way, if you want to get Dash, to get it. But a few things you really need to keep in mind here is, one, the difficulty is going to go up. So that, uh, you know, that $70,000 return, that's you're not likely to get that. This is something you really have to keep in mind. The, the difficulty of Dash doubled in the last week. And when these machines hit the market, the difficulty of Dash is going to skyrocket. Are they still going to be profitable? Hell yes. Are they going to be $70,000 profitable? Hell no. So you need to keep that in mind. This is, you know, the numbers right now look stellar right but things change things are moving by the time you get it we might even be at a million difficulty i wouldn't be blown away if that happens right so you really need to focus on that and keep that in mind your returns are not going to be seventy thousand dollars in this they might be ten fifteen twenty thousand dollars which is out of control still it's better than you're going to get almost anywhere else you know so if you if you think you can invest in that really you know go ahead and do that right you know just keep in mind the extra cost you got the shipping you got to pay the customs duties which could potentially be a lot of money it could potentially be a lot of money so really, really keep, keep that in mind guys think about it so um i want to hear back from you guys are you going to get one of these you know uh, i've uh, i had the cash right now i'd be getting i've already spent all my money on getting an uh, an l3 litecoin miner you know so that's that's really exciting that's coming in a, you know a couple months but man if i had the extra uh, three grand sitting here i'd be getting one of these you know without a doubt because these machines are absolutely awesome um so yeah down in the comments below guys hit hit the like button if you like this video uh you know share uh subscribe to the channel you know let me know your comments are you going to get one of these do you think it's a good buy what do you think of the endosilicon machine so let me know in the comments down below guys thank you for watching